Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, um, Scorpio. Maybe you're dealing with the Scorpio, Pisces. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. I'm sorry, I just got some guides coming in here. So I have James. He's a guide. And Eric and Lars, their ancestors. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you. I'm wondering why Eric and Lars are here. They don't want to show up. Okay. What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? The King of Swords. So there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming into your life. But I also feel with this card, you're focused on business. They're saying business is booming. Well, congratulations, Pisces. Or business will be booming. But they said business is booming. So I feel like it, it, it's happening right now. The three of wands. Oh, you're waiting for something. You're patiently waiting for something. It could be somebody in the distance. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Nine of chalices. This could be a wish of yours. Like somebody could be a wish that you're waiting for. The Four of Wands. Ooh. So this is celebrating commitment, possible marriage, or it's like on your way to marriage. All right, so let's see what the King of Swords is about. The Sun. This is happiness. Yeah, see, I feel like this is shining bright on your business endeavors, whatever you're doing right now. Ooh, somebody's, somebody's watching you. Mm, somebody's watching you, watching your business, watching you run your business. If you own a business, that's what I feel like. This King of Swords, you may have air in your chart. But this could also be somebody, it could be, a, a, another card, on this, Eight of Chalices. I feel like if you own a business, uh, you may be walking away from a part of the business to expand on another part, if that makes sense. But it's going to bring you great happiness here. It's like something that you've been doing in the business, right? Maybe it's something you're doing daily. That's changing. Because your energy needs to go here. So it's like you're redistributing your energy. You're changing things up. Tell me more. Seven of Wands. I feel like you, 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 they're saying, I can see clearly now. You know the song, I can see clearly now? The rain is gone. That's what I'm hearing with Seven of Wands. Like you see everything clearly now. As far as business is concerned, because I really feel like this is business here. You see, like very clearly. So the decision to take your energy from here and place it here, it's a good decision. And I feel like you know this. You know this and you're not questioning it. 
Okay, let's see what you're waiting for. What's Pisces waiting for? Justice. Could be a Libra. It's also a twin flame card of mine. What are you judging? I feel like you're judging something. The Knave of Pentacles in the world. Somebody's at a distance. And it's like you're either waiting for a message or you're waiting to send a message. And it's this is something that's happening slowly. Why are you waiting on it? Could be dealing with a fixed energy Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Two of Pentacles. I don't know. You Maybe you don't know what you're going to do. It's like you're waiting to balance something out. It could have to do with your work. Like you're waiting to complete something in your work to feel more balanced so you have energy for whatever this is. Maybe you're not dealing in love right now and you're waiting to find energy for it. Yeah, death. So there's some sort of transformation taking place within you. The Empress. So this could have to do with a Taurus or a Libra. There's Libra again, huh? So you may be waiting for an Empress to message you or you're waiting to message an Empress. It doesn't, it's just feminine energy. It can totally be uh, masculine here. So what does this Empress or Emperor feel about Pisces? What do they feel about you? Six of Swords. I'm getting peace. They could, five of wands, they could feel a little distant though. I do feel a distance. So I feel like they feel like you're peaceful, but they feel this distance. So they may even feel that there's competition for you with the five of wands here. Whoa. The lovers. Oh, they're interested, Pisces. They're interested. Maybe they feel like you have to make a choice, the Queen of Chalices. Maybe it's, um, this is definitely a love situation. The Lover's card is a choice. So maybe they're waiting. Like somebody's waiting for a message. Somebody feels like, I feel like this Empress feels like um, there may be competition. Empress or Emperor. So they're just waiting for your decision, I think. That's what I feel. Tell me about the nine of chalices. We have the magician. Yeah, you're wanting to make your dreams come true here. Four of chalices. You may be afraid of rejection. Or you may be rejecting offers that have come and they're not what you want because you're waiting for the right one. You're waiting for your emperor or your empress. It may be as simple as that. Like, no, that's not what I want. The hierophant. So Taurus energy again. So you want that spiritual connection. You want, and I feel like it's here with this Empress. That's what I feel. There is a spiritual connection here. And there is no distance when it comes to spiritual connection. You know what I mean? That means nothing. All right, Ted. Teddy. He's dreaming. All right. So tell me about the four of wands. You're wanting to manifest this happiness, this love. Two of wands. Distance again. You're you're really optimistic about moving on to the future. But there's something you need to leave behind. Both of these. Six of pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, see, I feel like you're trying to balance work and love. And you're trying to find the time for love. Didn't this come up before for you, Pisces? Whenever they repeat messages, it's because somebody's not getting the message. So they try to offer it in a different way. The Knave of Chalices. So I feel like you're going to find the time for love. You're, you're trying to balance out this work-love thing. 
And when you do begin a love relationship with whoever it is, because you may have your choice here and you may be, you know, that's that two of pentacles thinking, which one, which one, right? You're going to start small. You're going to offer your heart. You're going to offer your heart, but it's going to start small because you're going to, you just find, I feel like you just find the space. This is what you're trying to do. Make space. And when that space opens up, you offer your heart, but you're starting small because you don't want to, you know, overwhelm yourself. That's what I'm getting. And that's fine. That's fine. So who are you going to choose here? The stars, whoever this wish is. Could be a twin with a spiritual connection. If it's not a twin, it's a very high level soulmate. Do have to tell you that wow okay so what is your advice what's pisces advice the ace of wands go for it go after whatever whoever you're passionate about go after your dreams right don't back down from those dreams i don't feel like you will you're gonna go after it because um, your business is booming anyway. I feel like there's, it's just going to keep blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. You're having fun doing it, but now you're trying to find space for love because it takes up a lot of time, right? Especially if it's a business, it's like your baby, right? You try to try to nurture it and that's what you're doing. All right, let's get, let's get an advice card for my Pisces. Advice for Pisces. There's this smoothness that I'm feeling here. <laughs> They're saying sweet spot. Is this in love? Okay. There's some sort of sweet spot in love. What's the sweet spot? Okay. Now they're singing the song, um, is it sweet Caroline? No. Yeah. The Boston Red Sox song. Like I should know this. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know if, if this person's name is Caroline. I don't, I don't know. Look up those lyrics. Anything else? Okay interesting statement place your hope in faith place your hope in faith mm, food for thought that's for sure place your hope in faith okay so you have capable you can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances arise absolutely you're very strong you're very smart, you're very caring and nurturing and loving, and your heart is open to love, but you wanna make sure that it's balanced. And I feel like you're on the right track here. Okay, I just feel like you need to make a choice, place your hope and faith. Um, sweet Caroline, don't know what that means. Love that song though. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you guys on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.